Example number three. Find the derivative of the function y equals negative 4 e to the 2x squared. So our derivative dy dx will be our exponential function times the derivative of our exponent, which is 4x. Now we don't want to leave it like that when we have these two numbers that can be multiplied. So we're going to simplify negative 6 e to the 2x squared times x, or maybe even a little better, negative 16x e to the 2x squared. Now either one of these is fine. This one being a little, this last one being a little bit better, um, but they're equivalent, so either answer is correct. But you do want to simplify by multiplying those uh, constants. Example number four find the derivative of the function y equals x to the 12th e to the x. Now, the most important thing to realize before you start here is that you have the product of two functions because this contains an x, x to the 12th is our first function, and because this contains an x, e to the x is our second function. And remember our product rule says that y prime is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Well, the derivative of our first function here would be 12x to the 11th. Derivative of our second function here would be e to the x. So my formula here for dy dx is going to be first x to the 12 times derivative of the second e to the x plus the second e to the x times the derivative of the first, 12x to the 11th. Now, one thing that you're going to need later on is to be able to factor out the common factor of this. So, notice that both of these have an e to the x. I'm going to factor out an e to the x, and they both have also an x to the 11th. They don't both have a 12, but they both have 11. So I'm going to put x to the 11th, and then what's going to be left here is an x. I've taken out all of the e to the x and 11 of those x's, so I have an x left. And for this last one, e to the x has come out, all of x to the 11th, so just 12. And so this is the best format for you to write this kind of answer in, because as we move forward, we'll be setting this equal to zero, finding slopes of tangents and that sort of thing, and it needs to be in that factor form for that.